Okay, guys, you asked for it, you got it. More of Filipino Ricky. And he is playing Aaron Battistoni. I don't know who Aaron is. I, you know, I, I would assume he's a regular here. But uh, I'm sure he's thrilled right now to be playing on the stream table with Filipino Ricky. Uh, you know, I've been told by a couple people here at Sharkies that, uh, you know, they watch a lot of POV pool and they're just glad to have us up here. So. Aaron's wearing his Tiger 8 Brawl t-shirt, by the way, which you guys can also buy now online if you want to get a Tiger 8 Brawl t-shirt. Just uh, send us a PayPal. $29 includes shipping for your very own first annual 8 Brawl t-shirt. $29 PayPal to uh, R. Cruz, 8007 at yahoo.com. $29 shipped. So this is an even race to five from the winner's side. <coughs> so <coughs> Aaron Baristoni is yet another player <coughs> who I'm, I'm guessing is uh, pretty strong. Defeated Paul Joko <coughs> and Dennis Aldama and Matt Marlett. And I know if you're beating Paul Joko, you're doing something right. I'll be right back, guys.
like that all about business Did you finally win that game? Hey, buddy, we're back. All right. <laughs> Daniel Bush sitting here with Justin Marks. So Ricky won that game, huh? Yeah. I had to I had to take a little break there because that safety battle was killing me.
got into a funny spot. Yeah, I think you got to make this funny cut on the 14. And go around, try to get maybe straight on the 15. and cover. Well, he's made everything funny here. Yeah, he found a nice spot for the eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so you're going to play John again, huh? Is he going to come here this time? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, dude, I want to stream it, dude. Yeah, he's, uh, he's down for that, too. Let me know, Justin. I will. Justin Marks versus John Barton. Has he um, suggested any room in particular? Uh, no, but I imagine it'll be like last time. Um, when I went out there, he picked the room, and then I picked the table. Okay. So probably I'll pick the room and he'll oh, pick the table. So Elks Lodge? <laughs> <laughs> on the f <laughs> five and a half inch <laughs> buckets. <laughs> Could you imagine playing one pocket on that table? <laughs> oh my goodness. That would be something. So I, I don't know anything really about uh, this guy Aaron, but I, I hear he's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know him either. He's a local, I assume? Yeah. yeah. But uh, he's got to play the breakout now, which uh, you can only hit and hope on this shot. Yeah. He might have to play off the ball. Rail, rail, then ball. Let's squelch it in. Pretty low percentage. Can he kick it? For the eight? Yeah. I don't see any way to make it. I mean, I, I suppose if he can get under and, and kick it, that would be that would be nice. But it doesn't look doable. Looks too close to the rail. handed Ricky a biscuit here. Or as George Aranek likes to say, a cookie. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, an eight ball. There's just, there's just too many options in a position like this. Do you like chess at all? I do like chess, but gosh, uh, it's probably been really 10, 12 years since I, you know, played it regularly. I see you messing with uh, an app there. I'm playing Spencer. Oh, Spencer Ladin. Yeah. He went uh, hill hill with with Sky at, at the one of the bar table tournaments last week. Oh, no, no kidding. Yep, and he had a chance in the Hill Hill game.
So Ricky chalks up another one. Mandatory. Mandatory Accurac rule on this table. We're using the Accurac from Outsville. I like it. Yeah, I was going to actually ask, because uh, it is an eight ball template rack, a lot mm -hmm. different than a nine ball template rack. You think it's working well for I eight like ball? It. Yeah. <coughs> it loads pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, and I don't know uh, how new <coughs> these sets of balls are. I think maybe How? if we were using a regular template rack, we might uh, have more yeah. more gaps. But this seems to accommodate uh, balls that are not full size. How new are these balls, Ray? How new are these balls? Or how old are they, should I ask? <laughs> so less than a year. Yeah, everything is really clean. The balls are these really balls are slick. actually about a year old I've been told so yeah so then there shouldn't be uh, shouldn't matter they should rack up yeah, yeah any template but I think that's the big advantage of the AccuRack over uh, most template racks is that it, it it will accommodate balls that are worn yeah What? Why? Oh, um, yeah, just don't make what? it. You can't make the allowed eight Allowed to ball. hit the eight? I don't think you're ever allowed to hit the eight. I don't, I don't know. For you BCA, I don't think you, you can, you yeah, can just, you, 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 you can't, you can't make the eight ball. I don't think you're allowed to hit it first. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't think that's accurate. eight balls a dead BCA. ball. I don't think so. Well, I we're think off. You gotta hit we're one doing modified other. BCA rules, so okay. Well, yeah, the the <laughs> the pool room owner just uh, made so the call. It's so his call. It's Ricky's going to play a safety right now, and uh, he wants to roll into the eight ball. He's asking if that would be a foul or not. But uh, it is an open table, and uh, the eight ball is a dead ball. And uh, it's not. He wanted to bring the cue ball behind the 14. He's playing solids, so he's gonna played a good shot to uh, open everything right up. Yeah, he broke the 15 away from the three, which is what he really wanted to do. That's a, a wise shot. Playing with the bridge too, that's not easy. I 
I think Ricky's starting to get used to this table. By the way, I think we're down to like the final 16 already. Wow. It's turning out to be a pretty quick day, believe it or not. Shoot the six in the sign. The winner of this match will actually play Santo Sambajon for the hot seat. No. It'll be the final four on the winner's side. John John Hernandez is uh, waiting to play the winner of Greg Harada and Jose Mendoza. Oh, nice. I lost to Jose. Okay. I had, a, I had a straight in five. I needed a drawback on table for the eight ball. And I just stretched <laughs> and miscued. <laughs> I thought you hate that. I, I could have got a bridge. That would have been okay. We've also got uh, uh, Rosian, Rosian uh, Figueroa. He knocked out, uh, well, no, he got knocked to the one lost side. But uh, Jonathan Monroy. And Foch Garcia are playing right now on the one lost side. The winner of that match will play uh, Rojan. Foch Garcia knocked out Johnny Kang. And he also knocked out uh, Misael Estrada. Misa plays good. Misa plays well. Uh, Al Moreno and Brian Cady are currently uh, battling it out right now on the one lost side. Yeah, I think Foch wasn't uh, real happy with the way he was playing um, in his first or second match, but then he really caught a gear and got right back in stroke. We've got a little bit of a wedge in the bracket. It seems that we've got uh, 17 through 24th playing right now. Ray Reyes versus uh, Matt Marlette and Ethan Ibarra playing John Sager. Colin Angle was just defeated by Anjo Reyes, and Anjo is playing Nico Scalise. Nico Scalise knocked out Dave Hemma. Wow. Yeah, Nico's got game. <laughs> <laughs> I had an interesting call in my in my match with with Ray. I didn't I didn't see anything, but I banked the eight, and it was going two rails toward the corner and as it was rolling he swept the cloth with his hand okay to help the ball to help the pocket be a little more accepting to my eight ball okay <laughs> I, you know i don't know what the ruling is what on like that. hurling or something <laughs> yeah yeah like like, like hurling. ice hurling yeah, yeah like he just <laughs> like swept the cloth like you know like as okay, the ball was rolling yeah as the cue ball's rolling toward the pocket i mean i suppose that's legal that's kind of like blowing the ball, isn't it? <laughs> As <laughs> yeah, it's rolling. Exactly. <laughs> wow, I guess we're going to have to... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the ruling there would we're be. We're going to have to impose some hurling rules <laughs> in, in pool. Curling. Pretty curling, curling, yeah. curling, that's right. Hurling, what am I talking about? Yeah, hurling would definitely be a foul. That, that you're not you're not allowed to just hurl balls into the pocket. Did you get up? Did you say anything? No, I didn't. Did you think it helped? No. Yeah. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, like it did hit the rail. It's not like it went clean away. into the pocket. It yeah. hit the rail on the way in. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but if it was if it was off by a little more, it, it maybe could have helped. But, yeah. Ultimately, I don't think it made a difference. That's why I didn't say anything. That's kind of weird. Dude. 
So I don't know what happened there. Aaron missed a pretty easy shot. I think he was a little overextended, maybe. So Ricky's looking at solids, and you got the seven covered by the 14. But uh, those two balls by the side pocket could come in handy for him. Ooh. <coughs> yeah, he's going to need to get good on one of them so he can break out that three ball. Or break out the seven ball, you mean? Seven, three, same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> same thing on TV. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I guess Aaron is basically just playing safe because he he knows that that seven ball's tied up down table, so. Yeah, gives you a little little breathing room. Ricky's trying to spin this off uh, one rail to play for the five next. He didn't want to do that. Oh, that's just that just makes matters a lot worse. Oh, one pocket bank here. Play for the five in the corner. He does like himself some one pocket. Yeah, he loves himself a little one pocket. But now, all that work could could get him in a little trouble. But uh, he's going to have to get real good on this three ball. As my friend Carson Chu likes to say. Is that the one on the side rail or the nine? Good. That's the nine on the side rail. That's the nine on the okay. side rail, yeah. So he looks like he has an angle here. He might be able to put that in the corner and then go down and, and break it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. You mean uh, to the corner by the 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he could break it out, couldn't he? I mean, at this point, he kind of has to. Got to do something, right? It's a tough shot, but it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know if he quite has the angle. You definitely get paid off for shooting it, though. Ricky is just too smart. Yeah, that's a smart shot. He's just way too smart. All right. Well, no three rail breakouts here. safety from Aaron. Smart. Yeah, it kind of becomes a waiting game at one point if n neither player has any real hope of, of breaking out and getting out. Yeah. <laughs> Waitress was telling someone the beers. She says, I, I have to, there's 15 of them. I have to list them all or I won't be able to remember them. <laughs> <laughs> In order, right? Yeah. So what's Aaron doing here? He's making sure that Ricky can't get out. Ricky He's could bank this ball right now, but no reward in that, actually. Yeah. He says, you, you want to make it? Go for it. So he's probably going to make this combo, try to block the fif 15, which he did. Good shot. 
does the 15 go? Does it matter if it does or not? Oh, he played, s he called safe. Okay. That throws me off sometimes. Woo. This is like a quagmire. Well, okay. He's calling the other side now. Played a good bank. Yeah, I mean, I. not only is there no shot on the eight, but doing anything that's gonna move that 14 puts you at a disadvantage. Yeah. If you're not getting all the way out, I mean, why, why take a low percentage shot when you can just wait and force your opponent's hand? Well, Ricky's got to like this. He's going to end up at 4-0. Well, it is winter break, so I don't know... Uh, uh, what kind of gear Mr. Bats Batstioni has? Batistoni? But I'm good, thank you. Yeah. I just I just had something. See how well Ricky was able to accurack. Well, he's been not so much breaking dry, but just he's he's not really working on his cue ball much when he breaks. Yeah, that was pretty wild. Yeah, he's just sla slamming it as hard as he can. Over on the kiosk, yeah.
it's 4-1 now. Thanks, Justin. I've been uh, wrangled into doing other things, but... <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, I just had a draw over here in my game, kind of. In your uh, in your in you had a stalemate game, yeah, in your yeah. chess game. Yeah, draw Ooh. by insufficient material. Go Spencer. Whoa. Well done. Well, I guess it was that it must have been a dry break. Yeah, if the two ball has a pocket, then uh, he's got a good shot at running out. I think the two ball does barely have a pocket, but he may be trying to break this nine ball away. Yeah. Uh oh. He didn't want that kind of a roll. Wow. That ball went far. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Didn't notice how he did it. I didn't think notice it was going how he near. did not run up to the to the table to wipe <laughs> the dirt in front of the ball. <laughs> I think he's got to shoot the, the three in the side, or is he looking at the maybe all the way down? Yeah, he's going three in the side. Not a shot you want to shoot, but he's actually not in the worst position because if he makes it, then uh, then he's really in a good spot. Dude, if this is your small coke, I don't want to see a it. large. Okay. I'm looking at a small Coke right here, and it's got like it's like a 64 ounce drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a big gulp. Yeah, <laughs> two liter bottle. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Better shoot that 13 now, buddy, while you can. What a great shot that was. He's going down table. Nice shot. She goes. That was nice, man. And he can he can move the nine. He's got Does no choice to make to, well to move the nine when he yeah. makes a 10. But, yeah. yeah, he still has some trouble balls down table. Wow, that went in sweet. Like, does it have a pocket? Oh yeah, it has it a does. pocket. It does. Which offers natural position for one of those balls. Oh, uh, rushed it. He said yeah. it's natural shape. I gotta go. Time to go. He, he's, you know, it's pretty typical. He's playing like, like somebody who's in a match when his opponent's on the hill and he's down four games, mm -hmm. three games or whatever. You know. Not so nervous anymore when you're <laughs> coming from behind. Uh, I think uh, I think Ricky was trying to find the short side of that ball so that he could uh, shoot the five to the corner or the side, but. He ended up hooking himself on the three, which would have been a great alternate shot. So one can only wonder how he's going to take this on, if he's going to really go for this or try to park the cue ball behind the three. Yeah, he played it. 
He played it soft and safe. There you go. Jack him up over a a ball. Make him shoot a long straight shot. Yeah, if he if he can roll it in though, he's got a shot at the twelve for the side. There's, you know, it's not a it's not a shot you want, but it's uh, it's doable. Wow. Very nice try. You know what's funny is like it sounded like it went in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you hit that about as good as you could hit it to try to get shape and that going in the Elks Lodge. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It goes in twice at the Elks Lodge. Goes <laughs> actually it goes in and spits <laughs> back out because it's so big. Yeah. <laughs> That will likely do it. He doesn't like money. See, you got to make one good shot, and then you're sitting real pretty. You make this ball on the side. You follow to the rail. Shot by Ricky. I mean by uh, Aaron. Ooh, I like this rail first. Oh, I, I probably <laughs> don't shoot enough balls rail first. Well, I like the way he shot that. Yeah, he hit it great. He didn't shoot that rail first either. Yeah, I I, I pass up the rail first option probably. Do you really? I should. Oh, yeah, I, I love the rail first option. <laughs> Yeah, especially like when the ball's hanging in the yeah. hole. Yeah, I, yeah. I still want to avoid going real first because it just. Oh, there's so much you can do with it. Yeah, I know, but nice getting, shot. getting the right, you know, thickness of the hit. I, you, I struggle with yeah, it. Yeah, you practice. You gotta practice those. You know, I mean, uh, I think I've been exposed to that shot a lot more just because I've, you know, I used to play a lot of eight ball, but also when I started playing one pocket, the real first uh, option. Is this all you got? Nico Scalise. All right, go Nico. What does he win? He's got every Tiger product there is. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you win? A polo shirt. That's right. Like the one he's wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, I'll give it to, I'll give it to this guy instead. Then. <laughs> Matt M. Yeah. Is it the yeah, same, no, he is was the same as the one he's wearing? <laughs> no, he's, oh, okay. he won like a, uh, the beer company. The, oh, it's like, you know, <laughs> Dos Equis and stuff. They, sp they sponsored us. They gave us some like <laughs> polos and stuff. They're cool polos, though. He, well, he's going to come back. He'll show you. Nico Scalise wins a polo shirt. Every time I beat Spencer, I get one rating point, and every time I lose, I lose 55 points. <laughs> On chess? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Another dry break. No, I lost 55 points for a draw, actually. I don't, I don't want to know what a loss would do. A dry break. William DeSalm II is saying, is that the marksman oh, on the mic? What's up, Billy? Yeah, Billy plays at Shooters. He's very cool. Why aren't you here, Billy?
So I imagine this combo down at the foot rail is on because he's shooting. It looks like it is on. Yeah, I think it's on, but you know, you've got to. Uh, you can't just hit it anywhere. Yeah. It's not dead. You can't be on. lackluster about it, you know. It's not dead. Let's yeah. put it that way. Playing safe. Ricky. He must be getting frustrated because he, he's playing a lot of safeties and they're coming up short. And he knows that as you get closer to the finals, you can't make uh, these mistakes, you know? Yeah. Nice shot by Aaron, especially, wow. I was going to say, especially, you know, Aaron winning that last game off of uh, Ricky's missed eight ball. That's good momentum. That could put some wind in your sails, you know what I mean? Yeah, and especially when you're down, uh, the the match is so ripe for a comeback because yeah. all the pressure goes on to the player who's ahead. It does, it does. Aaron, Aaron thought he lost already, so he's he's already dealt with, you know, what it would be to lose, and maybe he thought, hey, maybe it's not so bad to lose, so he right. got over the fear. Right, right. Now he's going to have to contend with this three ball. Yeah. <coughs> I, I, I Maybe he didn't have the right angle for it, but it looked like he, he should have got on it a second ago, but I think he didn't quite have the angle that it looked like he had. I don't know what he's, he's going to have to use the six, and I, I don't like it. Yeah, he doesn't have a ball that goes naturally to it, but he's got no choice. He oh, does he's got a perfect angle. He does have some angle. Okay, so you can just draw this shot, right? Yeah, that's... that's just draw ball out. Ball in hand shape if you're and not allowed to use your ball in hand on don't the three. Don't draw this bad because you end up under the 15. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, close. Cross side. <laughs> <laughs> He's going up table. No guts, no glory. Oh, no. Oh, who is this guy? And he's straight in the side. He's what not jacked the, up over oh the 13. Oh, my God. What a shot. Oh. Woo! I was nervous for him. He got down on that eight ball pretty quick. Pool claps in the house. Wow. That was definitely <laughs> deserving. Very nice out. Oh yeah. So now if he <coughs> can if he can break and run one, he's, he's yeah. breaking on the hill. Yeah. I mean this is this is this is the kind of when you're playing eight ball and you're the breaker, this is where you really want to dictate how the how the game's played, you know? Yeah. Uh, it all depends on how you break. You know, and you know, I often when I know I'm playing good players, I don't like to play that head ball break. I like to play that mm -hmm. second ball down safety yeah. break. You know, because I, I I usually, you know, the chances of making a ball on the second ball down are higher, and uh, and you have more to play with there. You know, you got a lot of balls that they run to the side. You don't often get an open table when you break that second ball down. Yeah, I think you're definitely going to get a tactical game. I don't know, in in my experience, I don't think you're more likely to make a ball at the second ball break unless you are very careful with the rack. There, you, you can basically wire the corner ball. <coughs> yeah. Um, if you have, like, let's say he's breaking. Let's see which side. He, okay. Let's say he was breaking for the 14. He's breaking the head ball, If though. the 14 through 13 were frozen and the 1 through 5 were frozen. Yeah. And he cut the 14 for the corner as if it was the only ball then the opposite corner ball is dead, assuming all those balls are frozen. Well, you know, and this is a case in point right here, dry break. Mm -hmm. And you've opened everything up. And yeah, uh -oh, you're right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A safer break would Ricky's have been maybe just better moved. there. Ricky just moved the Ricky foul. <laughs> Ricky foul. Foul! <laughs> 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 foul, loss of game. Just hold the eight there and rip the rack. <laughs> They're not having fun under so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see that kind of cooperation between two two enemies that probably hate each yeah. other right now. 
<laughs> All right, Ricky. Here's your opening shot. Let's see. Uh, we got what do we got here? Solid. Solid. Two's got a pocket. You just got to get good on the seven, and it's you know everything done. does have a pocket. Here's something that uh, I'm finding very interesting: is that these really strong players, they come into these. They came into this tournament thinking, oh, it's eight ball. I know how to play eight ball. I play eight ball really good. But do you play eight ball on a nine footer? Mm -hmm. Right? Because everybody now plays eight ball on eight, on uh, seven on bar foot boxes. bar boxes. Yeah. It's a completely different game on the nine footer. Yeah, I, I prefer it on the. On the I prefer everything on Most the Most players do. Yeah. Oh, on the nine footer. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a <coughs> fan of bar. Nothing against it, um, except they're kind of like toys but other than that yeah you know yeah it, it it i think eight ball definitely is is the best game to play in a bar box well for for uh upper level competitive play i prefer i mean a lot of people know my opinion already but i, I prefer the nine footer too i i generally don't opt for the bar table for for that upper level uh of competition yeah if 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 I am going to play on a bar box, or if anybody's going to play on a bar box, I think eight ball makes the most sense. It's like when I go to the Elks, I play straight pool because that's what makes sense on the you know on the big five pockets, and three quarter yeah. inch pocket tables with slick cloth. Um, when you're on a bar table, eight ball makes sense. Yeah, that's what I like, getting on the seven as, as quick as you can. And here, like, you don't have a perfect uh, key ball, but you know, either ball will do. A five or the one. I'm, I'm definitely getting to the two as quick as I can. I think he can stun over. Stun draw. not hampered by the five, then I'm, I'm still shooting the two. And he is too. And it's interesting that he drew up for the two. Um, for the two or for the five? For the two. Rather than stunning over, I would have liked you know, stun draw, but then your speed has to be right to make sure you don't get on the wrong side. Because if you get on the other side of that two ball, then when you hit it, you're get you're getting down into these stripes. You're running straight into them, and you got work to do. Yeah, yeah. But by drawing straight up, he he ensures that he's on the correct side of it and doesn't have to mess with all those stripes. I'm I have to say I like Ricky from here. I think he's going to be out. But uh, you know this this he got kind of straight on this ball. I would have liked an angle. I mean, but still. Uh, I, don't think I think he can cheat the pocket yeah. and work with this. He's, you know, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got plenty of angle here. Just I like being on the other side and going to the, following to the top row and mm -hmm. going straight down, mm -hmm. but this works fine. Uh, just don't miss the eight again, Ricky. You'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I got, all my money says he makes it. <laughs> <laughs> How much money you got? <laughs> It's in, and that's game, set, match. Ricky, Filipino Ricky, wins his second match in, in a row on this table, uh, this time against Aaron Baristoni, and actually some good play by Aaron. It was uh, uh, a joy to watch him uh, uh, break it down for us. So uh, stick around, guys. It's the Tiger 8 brawl. I also want to give a shout-out to Brian Almond, who's in our chat room now. 
he was here. Oh, did he go home? Yeah, I guess so. He got knocked out and he went home. And he's one of our first uh, first people on the uh, in the chat room after you know being here in in the flesh. So Brian's the man. Shout out to you, Brian. Thanks for uh, joining us and thanks for coming out to this tournament and supporting. If you guys want to support this tournament, uh, get yourself a Tiger Eight Brawl T-shirt. Uh, we'll send you one shipped for $29. Uh, just got to let us know what size you want and also leave us your address. You can send it uh, $29 via PayPal and we'll ship it out to you. Please allow for uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 days for delivery and uh, we'll get this out to you. So uh, you can PayPal us at uh, uh, rcruise8007 at yahoo.com for a Tiger 8 Brawl t-shirt. $29 shipped. Small, medium, large, extra large. I think we're out of two XLs. So small, medium, large, extra large. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll be back with another match shortly. We're down to the final 16, so check out the brackets on CompuSport.